Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me Flipside. Hope you all are doing great. So we have an Indian chief motorcycle with us today. It's called the Dark Horse. So I'll give you a 360 view of the bike. So it has dual exhausts. Looks really nice as well as twin cylinder engine. The rear also has a big fat tire. I don't know what's the size of it. I'll let you guys know. The bike also features quite a few accessories as well. And that was the 360 view. So this bike is a 1890cc engine. It has about 79 horsepower. It has about 120 Newton meters of torque. This bike is pretty heavy. I just rode it. It's about 300 kgs or so. It has LED lights, LED indicators, disc brakes, which is very obvious. Disc brakes at the rear as well, because it's a pretty huge motorcycle. The seat height is 662 mm, which is quite low, but it's nice. Tank capacity stands at 15 liters. These are the switches. This is for the indicators. High beam. And this is the horn. No need to honk around here. This I'm not sure what it is for. It shows a music symbol this not sure i think you can play music as well this is to switch on the vehicle this you can switch it off let's hear the exhaust note now That was the exhaust note. So these are a few accessories that was put on. This is a wind screen guard, deflection screen. That's what they call it here. And then this rear seat backrest. This is also an accessory. It doesn't come along with the bike. Looks really nice. Let me see what the tire size is. It's a 130-60 19-inch tire and the rear is a 180-65 16-inch tire. It's belt driven as you can see. Most of these bikes, the cruisers, most of them are belt driven, even the Harleys. So it doesn't have a mono shock suspension. It has twin shocks. I guess a fat boy has a mono shock suspension. The gearing is one down, six up. And the clutch is pretty much smooth for such a huge bike. The lights are also pretty good. Let me switch on the indicators. Let me see if I can turn it on. Can we? No, I don't know. Yeah, now it's on. It's a long press for turning on the parking lights. That is, that is what it looks like. There's a phone mount as well. Phone mount is here. You can put your phone mounts there. So this is the TFT screen. Let me show you a bit about the TFT screen. Long press of this and the, end. the parking light switch off. Is it a touch screen? Yes, it is a touch screen. This is heated grips. 
then this is brightness you can in increase or decrease the brightness keep it at auto you can change it to sports mode touring standard what is all this not sure what are the other things you can change the settings of the speedometer by clicking this this is your gauges your bike bike it shows you a lot of information your mileage range of how much fuel is there and how much distance it will go then ride i just rode the bike for some time this is the trip indicator this maps you can put your maps here as well then music oh you can put music you need to connect i'm not sure where to connect this but yeah it does connect so this is your bike thing passcode unlock you can unlock it with a passcode and stuff so that's the basic things of this bike has one huge air filter and i think yes this is the air filter is it so is it there on the other side no that's the air filter looks amazing right first time riding a indian motorcycle actually so let's take it for a short spin now clearance is 125 mm which is pretty low but it's good for american roads not many potholes because of that has twin forks telescopic suspension in the front